there goes our final product very pretty yeah you can use whichever colors you want for me i used what i had in the house i had yellow and cream yeah and that's what makes our final product very pretty you can use it as a wall hanging or a centerpiece Hi everyone, how are you? We are at it again. Today we're going to learn how to make a perfect pom pom, and then after that we'll make a mat made from pom poms. Yeah. So yeah, I've done a few, which I'm going to put aside because we need first of all to learn how to make them, and uh, then we can continue. So what I'm going to do is, you want to make uh, a mixture of yellow and uh, cream white pom pom. So I have my thread here, both the colors. So what I'm going to do is, I'll begin by loosening the thread a little bit. Yeah. Then uh, here we're just using the simplest thing we have using what we have at our availability that is using our my fingers so i'll be using these two fingers my two fingers this one and this one so i'll put the two thread together then i'll open up the fingers like this then hold like that and make 20 rounds one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So at this point, I'll cut the thread. I'll cut the thread. Then... I'll take one of the threads, the yellow one, and cut about uh, 30 centimeters or more. Then, I'll pass this thread here in between the two fingers. Like that. And then make a knot. that so I remove them so that I'm able to make the you realized using the fingers you have the thread in the middle like that so I'll tie this like that and there we have the first one you're going to make two like that so I'll put this aside so that you can cut this other one all these two as you cut the others I'll cut these like that cut all of them Just shake it a little bit so that they are aligned and then we can cut the extras so to cut the excess we just want to align them so that they are almost the same height all of them so that's how I do it I hold it like this with my fingers then I cut this just uh, trim the ends so with that I'm sure that uh, they're all the same length like that yeah there you go what you need to do is uh, 
We have our pompons. We have our pompons with us. So we are going to make our mat made from the pompon. So here I have the mesh. Here I have the mesh and I have my pompons here. I have how many yellow, yellow and uh, yellow and cream white, so there are eight. Then I have uh, four white, yeah, four white and this, this which is made of pink and pink and uh, cream white. So we're going to start with this. I want to lay this as our centerpiece huh? on the middle of the, the middle of our mesh. So it's for me to identify the middle. The middle should be around here. And so using these two, that's what we're going to tie. So I'll we'll pass the thread on the other side. So here we need the help of uh, You need the help. You can use whatever you have available. For now, I'm using some scissors. But if you have a crochet around you, that will be the easiest. The crochet, not a crochet. Crochet. So we just pass this two thread at the back. Like that. So I'm using the scissors to demonstrate this because uh, you might find someone does not have a crochet, but the others I'll be using a crochet to showcase this. So then we pull the thread, pull it, ensure that uh, there's no more thread left this side. Then at this side, yeah, make a knot. Don't tie so tight because the mesh is it's plastic. So if you make it so tight, it might come out. So it might uh, you might uh, break the mesh. So and at this point, you can cut the excess thread. So there we have our centerpiece. In this case, we have our centerpiece. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to put the white on like that. Yeah, like that. That's what we're going to do. So I've taken my crochet. So what we're going to start. So this is where I want it to be. So I'll mark the point here and put my crochet and pull. Oh, I made a mistake. Just one now. Then this other side the same. Yeah, like that. So I'll turn my mat again and make a make a knot at this point like that. And we'll play machunga. And we'll change mama's in the bedroom. And so there we have. Then I'll do the same this other side. So before you shake it so we'll start with this point I'll want to work on this other line that I worked on on the other so I'll put my needle my my crochet on one thread and pull then this other side I'll attach the other one and pull then turn it and tie Just tie three times. Remember not to throw away. 
the thread because you might need it again at this point i'll check where i worked on yeah so you can work with that attach the thread to the crochet and put it on another hole and attach it and pull so this is how you make uh, pom-poms pom-poms are mat such a mat you can use it either as a, a wall hanging in your house you can use it on the table as a decker as a center of piece on the table yeah wow that's where i'm here at now how do you like it so far so good there goes our final product very pretty yeah you can use whichever colors you want for me i used what i had in the house i had yellow and cream Yeah, and that's what makes our final product very pretty. You can use it as a wall hanging or a centerpiece on your table. Thank you so much for everyone who haven't subscribed to my channel. Kindly subscribe. So let's get to learn these more and more and more. Thank you and God bless.